Product Officer. Please welcome him to the stage. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I was going to come up here and ask everybody to raise their hand if you know what an STO is, but I heard some talks today. David knows, right? I heard some talks today, so I know you know what an STO is. But the truth is I'm, I'm here to talk to and find STO issuers and anybody involved in security tokenized is issuances. And my hope is by the end of my speech today that you're going to come and find me and talk to me about some of the products that Black Moon has to offer. If the ICO market is what brought us here today and through 2018, then the year 2019 is the year of the STO. Today, blockchain technology promotes a new digital fabric of our financial universe. Coupled together with a decentralized environment that nobody owns and nobody controls, the tokenization of assets and securities promises lower it promises liquidity by lowering your risk and by lowering your risk oh thank you finally by lowering your risk and by lowering your risk threshold via the creation of liquidity but uh, what we're going to see today is that that's simply not true it's a fallacy blockchain technology does not automatically create liquidity blockchain inherently offers a plethora of advantages issuers depositories, regulators, and seemingly investors all stand to gain something from this new technology. However, even with all of these benefits, the one key element still missing is liquidity. Again, blockchain technology and technology in general, by, in and of it by itself, does not create and generate liquidity. Both institutional and retail investors are still forced to manufacture their own mechanisms for a transparent price discovery. Liquidity plays the dominant factor in the function of risk, your risk as an investor. And knowing that one can liquidate his or her investment without an impact to price is the key risk metric of any and all investment decisions. An STO that supports a thriving and liquid marketplace increases its perceived value immediately, even if its product, its management, or its bottom line are not as high quality as some of its competitors. The liquidity of the marketplace defines the risk for the investor and the success of the issuer. And without the ease and execution of a liquid market, your STO will have limited success, if any at all. At a high level, we can split the global financial money pie into three separate buckets. We have financial products that expire. They expire and down to zero because they include a function of time. We have the ones that are redeemable, like hedge funds and ETFs. And we have, oh, I gotta talk this way because the microphone's here. And we have those that are neither. They neither are redeemable or expire, like stocks and currency. Each of these financial product types obtain their value in different ways. And importantly, they maintain different liquidity requirements and risks. I'd like to highlight here that both equities and STOs have no such mechanism to either calculate, maintain, or store value. They simply float, rising and falling based on the aggression of buyers and sellers at any one point in time. And this singular feature set poses a systemic risk to any one of your STOs that you're issuing, a risk that is always present in the open market. So, liquidity is a problem for STOs. I was here, I saw a bunch of panels. They said the same thing. So let's start looking at what we can do to combat this liquidity problem, and what are some of the other financial examples that exist for us to mimic. I suggest to you all that ETFs have been the most successful financial product in the last decade. And you might think that that's because it's related to diversification, which in part is true. But I believe that it's because of liquidity. ETFs 
create liquidity. ETFs outpunched their, co their corporate stock counterparts three to one. For every dollar invested into a stock, that same dollar invested into an ETF trades three times as much. And you can see some statistics there that tell you that. Here at Black Moon, we're approaching the tokenization from an investor's perspective. Black Moon as a platform partners with STO issuers, lowering your investor's risk via additional liquidity options. Blockchain technology might be a better alternative for investors and for raising capital, but in an open marketplace, price discovery also requires traders and speculators. The ETX that Black Moon issues on behalf of its partners' brands incentivizes traders and speculators to take risk against your STO. Risk in the form of bids and offers by offering them a fungible financial product to arbitrage for profit. Those additional bids and offers that are brought to market by traders and speculators just because the ETX exists these are bids and offers that would otherwise not exist in your marketplace without the ETX in existence. Those bids and offers further add and create a balanced and stable price for your marketplace. Black Moon has a unique liquidity solution that is added to each and every token. Our proprietary technology and operational workflows change the nature of what we traditionally think of as a bid and offer. Instead, we're changing the nomenclature to what you would think of as a price request. Investors, traders, and speculators request a price from Black Moon. And in turn, Black Moon purchases the asset, taking direct risk on its balance sheet. Simply put, we offer the ability to redeem and by administering a semi-private market for what is effectively a privately held security, Black Moon is effectively enabling price discovery at a normalized velocity and pace. Black Moon issues and distributes its tokens via a Reg D compliant private offering. Black Moon offers its solution to its partners for the entire life cycle of the tokenization process. KYC and AML of investors, appropriateness and suitability assessments, distribution and issuance of tokens, live investor reporting, conversion service, liquidity provisions, and redemptions. The Black Moon platform offers benefits to both investors and issuers, creating an environment where security tokens are offered in a managed and compliant way, all with the commitment to and the delivery of both security and liquidity. And as successful as our listed tokens and strategies have been to date, and there soon will be many more, our infrastructure supporting them is actually more important. Black Moon already has in place the advantageous and proven ability to aggregate tokenized investments into redeemable financial products. As Black Moon increases our branded ETX product line for your brand and the STO that you are bringing to market, we will effectively create liquidity for the industry overall, together in partnership with one another. Black Moon's ETX is a natural progression of creating liquidity, and it's already in place, operational, live, and in production. Black Moon brings simplicity, an intuitive interface, compliant legal structures, and liquidity solutions for investors all within one platform. Black Moon is open for business. And anybody out there who's interested in some of the thoughts that I, thought, that I talked about today, come say hello and pull me aside and contact me for more details on how Black Moon can create liquidity solutions for your investors and lower their risk for your tokens and your security and your issuances, your STO and your brand. Thank you. I didn't see you there. Any questions? No questions. I must have done a great job. No, one second.
Okay, uh, what's your purpose of this pitch? For investment or you're looking for more clients? Black Moon is effectively a B2B business. So our clients are you guys, the STO issuers. Black Moon doesn't have a big sales team going out onboarding corporate equity looking to raise capital for their companies. But the most important piece of this is that for any company issuing a token on any exchange in any way, shape, or fashion, assuming it's a security token, there's a liquidity deficiency in the marketplace. And for all of those fancy robots and algorithmic trading systems that are out there, they're taking effectively naked risk to, to making purchases and to making markets. But by having a fungible financial product to arbitrage from immediately in real time, there's a removal of that risk. And the key point here is that we're able to entice traders and speculators to make markets on your company, even though they don't necessarily care what even the name of your company is. They just care that they can make a spread about it. And you can't get that without fungibility. Are you after specific asset classes and are you gonna have multiple funds? Uh, I don't think we have a limit to the asset classes. The core product line of Black Moon is that we tokenize hedge funds and hedge fund equity is by definition redeemable and the infrastructure supporting that relationship to hedge funds. And we have live right now, uh, we've tokenized a hedge fund called Prime Meridian. It's a $700 million hedge fund that they trade in real estate loans. Uh, but the infrastructure of the redemption paradigm uh, is leverageable by all of you. And that's effectively the service that we're looking to provide to security token issuers and the reason why we're here today at this conference. Uh, hello? Yeah. Sorry. Well, next. One and two, yeah? Hi. Hi. Um, I'm going to issue a STO. Uh, I wanted to know, you know, when you, when we come to you, are you going to add it to one of your ETFs, which has got other stuff in it, or what? So, we are a security issuer in foreign markets, um, but if you were to, for example, issue your security through Start Engine, uh, by adding your STO to an index that Black Moon is supporting, there are two ways that immediately create liquidity. A is through the arbitrageable fungibility of, for traders and speculators to take advantage of. But more importantly, that fund itself has money in it that is being rebalanced. And through that rebalance event, bids and offers and purchases and sales are happening in your marketplace, in your STO marketplace as well. Sorry, there was another question out there. Is this similar to the real estate world where uh, today you can list a home and then there are people who will immediately make an offer just on the online, we will pay you $300,000. And then within two weeks, they come and visit the property and then they say, okay, it's, that we make minor adjustments, it's only 280, 290 or 310. So the immediate uh, ability to offer a price and make a sale is, is that a similar thing you are doing in the uh, token market? I understand the question, but the answer is no. Uh, because when we're speaking about real estate, you're talking about a physical item in the real world that has a very different relationship to what you and I would consider to be arbitrage. I think tech, the technical term that we're talking about here is ETF arbitrage. So an ETF is an asset-backed token or an asset-backed security, and the assets that is backing it is creating the intrinsic value of the ETX itself. And the fungibility comes into the balancing act of being able to create and redeem the ETX issuance together with the underlyings, or vice versa, underlyings to create the ETX. And that's where the balancing act comes from, from a trader's mathematical perspective. We're good? Thank you, everybody.